senior policy fellow at the European Council on Foreign Relations and a North Africa analyst. Thank you very much for joining us here on TRT World. Tell me, what do you think President Kai Saeed is trying to achieve? What he's trying to achieve is something that he's long aspired to, which is essentially to produce what he calls a new republic in Tunisia, to change the political settlement of the country, um, to make it much more the way that he thinks it should be, which is to have an extremely strong and essentially unaccountable uh, president who can do what he wants. And uh, now, obviously, this strengthens Kai Syed's hands as president. But I think it also matches his vision um, of what he thinks the, the, of the way he thinks the country should be organized. Uh, and ever since he um, conducted his power grab last summer, he's made it clear that um, his aim was to change the functioning of the Tunisian state. Now he's got uh, his blueprint for how he sees that happening. But Anthony, we do see people take to the streets. I mean, certainly there's an outcry within the country. So how likely is it for President Kai Saeed to accomplish all these goals? Well, um, we've seen consistently, I think, since um, he conducted his power grab. Um, initially, he had uh, apparently quite a lot of support because I think people were fairly fed up with the rather paralyzed sclerotic nature of the Tunisian politics. It hadn't dealt with any of the country's problems. But we've seen support for the president ebbing away and increasing protests against him. Now, the protests are mainly focused um, on the economic situation in the country, um, or at least they bring together economic and these political constitutional concerns. Um, the constitution will be put to a referendum. The opposition parties are boycotting the referendum. Um, and I think it's, to my mind, unlikely that it will be defeated. Most likely, I think the referendum <coughs> will see widespread indifference, um, because I think the, really the concerns of the Tunisian population are elsewhere. So my own prediction is that the, um, that the constitution will be approved, and he'll see that as a mandate to go forward. But it'll be approved with little enthusiasm, and there'll be... Um, you know, potentially growing opposition if he doesn't get a handle on the country's serious economic problems, which he's shown so far no real interest or ability to do. All right, Anthony Dworkin, thank you very much for speaking to us here on TRT World. Really appreciate your taking out the time.